Hey everyone, Jade here and welcome to the series in which I explain about the abilities of each and every agent in Valorant. So today, it's gonna be Valorant's latest agent Gecko whose abilities I'll be explaining. So Gecko is an initiator from the United States and just like every other agent in this game, he's got 4 abilities. First, Second, Signature and Ultimate. His first ability is called Mosh Pit, which is basically an Aftershock Molly. I said Aftershock because unlike other mollies in this game, Mosh Pit will only give you damage after it explodes after a certain amount of time. So it's safe to stand on top of the Mosh Pit but only before it explodes. Now his second ability is called Wingman, which is a small and cute looking Pokemon like creature who can help you out in two ways. First, if you left click it will work as a boom bot. It'll start running and scan the area for enemies and upon coming in contact it'll stun them. Second. If you right click it will take the spike from you and plant it in the site. On the other hand if you are a defender and you right click it will start defusing the spike. Now keep in mind that the wingman can be killed while planting or defusing or even while he's running. So it's not going to be as easy as it sounds. But the one important thing about wingman is that even after you the agent dies it will continue to plant or defuse the spike which means the enemy must destroy him as well to prevent it from completing his task. Now Gecko's signature ability is called Dizzy which is basically a flash. And even though it's not as strong as some of the other flashes in this game because the blind duration is a bit less, it gives a little cue to where the enemy got flashed through this small shooting animation. So in my opinion, it's a balanced flash overall. And yes, just like Wingman, it can be reused if you pick it back up just like an ultimate orb. Last but not the least, Keiko's ultimate ability which is called Thrash. Thrash is a combination of Sky's Dog and Killjoy's Lockdown. As upon activating it, you'll be able to control it just like Sky's Dog, but upon contact with the enemy rather than concussing them, it will detain and make them useless just like Killjoy's Lockdown. But the difference between the two is that the enemy will only be detained for 5 seconds rather than 10. Also keep in mind that everyone who is in the 6 meter radius around the person who got bit by Thrash will be detained. So try not to stick together while Thrash is on the hunt. And yes, Thrash can also be reused after picking its orb back again, but only once. So this was it for today. If you have any questions related to any of Gecko's abilities, drop them in the comments below. And if you found this video to be helpful, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more such Valorant content. Now check out this playlist and I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then Jade out.